Kelly? Max, first of all, just how are you feeling and the excitement of knowing you're going to start this DS off for your team? Uh, I'm excited. Uh, you know, this is the this is the time of year that you, know, you, you play for and you grind for 162 games, and uh, it's finally here. And I know that we're we're excited to get started. Justin. Max, in the days leading up to a start, what's your routine like in terms of studying or getting yourself ready? Mm -hmm. uh, just becoming familiar with the opponent and getting my body as, uh, you know, as recovered and as right as possible to be able to go out there and you know, give everything I have for 100-plus 100, 100 pitches. So, uh, you know, just working out, a lot of, you know, treatment stuff, a lot of just, you know, stabilization, just stuff that you do to, you know, Cardio, just all that kind of stuff. And then, when did you start to feel better after the stomach bug? Um, uh, you know, it, it got me kind of good right afterwards, but you know, I, I uh, started to bounce back. And you know, if, uh, if we were in a situation where I needed to pitch on that last game of the season, I was going to be able to do that. So, yeah. Take one minute and then back to Kelly. Max, you've been a part of this club throughout its postseason run over these past few seasons. What has it been like, this process for you, growing in from the young prospects you were when it started to the pitcher of the jar today? Uh, I've been very fortunate to be on a lot of really good teams and have some experience in the postseason before. Uh, the one thing that I've noticed is at this time of year, it doesn't really matter um, you know, what happened in the regular season, what, you know, What's happened in the past? It's all about just going out there and winning baseball games. You know, stats stats are you know really irrelevant. It's if your team comes out on top and you win the game, that's that's the main objective. So uh, you know, you know that every single team that you're playing at this time of year is an, you know, an amazing team, and they're really well rounded. And you know, you got to bring your A game. So for me, it's just going out there and. Leaving it, uh, you know, leaving it all on the field and just trying to get the results. You mentioned familiarizing yourself with your opponent. You know the Phillies really well. Do you consider it an advantage, disadvantage, and how do you feel like they're playing right now versus when you've seen them in the past? Uh, I mean, I'm, uh, I threw twice against them towards the end of the year. Uh, I've thrown a handful of times against them, but you know they're one of the the teams that I've pitched most frequently against in my whole career. Uh, you know, it's a really, really great lineup over there. You know, they're extremely deep. One through nine can beat you. Um, you know, they're here for a reason. It's, uh, I don't know if it's an advantage or disadvantage. I just think there's no secrets. You know, everyone knows what, you know, I know what they have, they know what I have, and it's just going out there and executing and seeing who comes out on top. So um, I'm really excited. I know that. You know they they played a really good series in St. Louis, and they're going to be coming in hungry, ready to go, and you know it's uh, it's going to be a fun one. Knowing that you were sick and Strider's been nursing an injury, and the bullpen was used at length in the last series, how important was it to get that wild card by for you guys? Uh, you know, obviously, I think that no one really wants to have extended time off, but uh, I think we. We used it to, to our benefit just to gather our strength and kind of get back to, you know, getting healthy and trying to make sure that we have this next run for the next couple, you know, hopefully for the next couple weeks, uh, you know, a lot better than the way we uh, kind of ended the season. So, uh, you know, we're, we're going to take it as we got some rest and be able to recoup and know that it's going to be, a, you know, long, hard-fought battles here from here on out. Yeah. Max, you can swing the bat, but um, what's it been like this year to not have to worry about that, and then especially, you know, magnified in the postseason where you have enough to uh, worry about, so that's not part of the game anymore. Yeah, uh, obviously the the hitting part and you know National League play before this year, I was always a big fan of. I've um, you know always played positions and stuff, and you know uh, growing up and. I really like handling the bat, but having this be my first year of just focusing on pitching with no no hitting or anything like that, uh, I, I've noticed that it's kind of allowed me to get deeper into games with you know feeling a little bit less fatigued, standing on the bases, you know, swinging the bat. Um, 
uh, you know, just focusing more on pitching and in between innings, you know, focusing on the hitters instead of worrying about grabbing your, you know, grabbing your bat and getting up to the plate or worrying about when your spot's up in the order or getting the bunt down, trying to bunt 95. So um, it's been a it's been an adjustment, but it's one that I've uh, you know I've come to like. Justin. Max, what, what is it about Dansby that seems to make people almost gravitate toward him? He's, uh, you know, he's as charismatic as they come, and he's genuine. So uh, when you've got a guy that is, you know, authentically himself, and he can go out there and you know that his one main purpose every single day is to go win a baseball game, um, and that's one of your leaders. It's it's easy to kind of look at that and follow suit. Um, he's completely selfless. Like he's always team first. You know, he's the guy that if we win and he goes over four, he's he's just as happy as if he would. You know, four for four. He's the guy that if you go four for four and we lose, he's not as happy as you know over four and winning. So um, when you've got guys that are your leaders that prioritize that over personal success, it, it rubs off on everyone else, and we. Uh, you know, we, we follow that, and we, we definitely gravitate more towards that. Jeff? Max, have you done anything extra cardio or strength-wise these last few days just to test yourself to make sure you're back at the level that you were before the stomach break? Yeah, yeah, definitely been, been testing myself and, uh, you know, trying to get ready. You know that the coming up, the playoffs is always a little bit more, the higher magnitude, adrenaline run, and, um, you know, drain yourself out a little bit more. So, definitely been over the last couple of days. Uh, you know, testing myself and uh, you know preparing myself for what's come. Uh, Max, as you guys in here before you, Dansby and uh, Travis, like yourself, just seem to be so even keel. Uh, you can't really tell uh, win or lose. How crucial is that in this environment to have guys that can you know are in such prominent positions to kind of set that clubhouse tenor and just be so even keel? Um, I think it's. I think. It, uh, for me personally, it's you know seeing the guys that I came up with, um, that I kind of looked up to, that were the more of the veterans, and that was the way that they they handled things. Uh, you know, in this game, that anything can happen on any given day, and you obviously want to go out there and, and win, but it's really hard to string two, three in a row. Um, if you lose, it's easy for that to snowball into two, three in a row as far as losing. So, you know, that you're the same, you know, being even keeled, same kind of uh, intensity level every single day it gives you the, you know, the most clear-headed, um, consistent results. Maria? Max, did you watch many of the um, wild card games this weekend? Uh, yeah, I tried to catch as many as I could. Is there any particular starting performance that really stood out to you? Um, I mean, the, the one last night from uh, you know, Musgrove. Joe Musgrove. I mean, that was uh, you know really impressive. You know, you know winner take all game to be able to go out there and you know, go seven plus innings is pretty impressive. Uh, multiple guys have said that when you get on the mound, even before you're on the mound, it seems like you're dialed in and ready to do whatever it takes to help your team win. We saw it last year in the World Series where you continued after an uh, apparent ankle injury. What is it like to just have that mindset, and what is the mindset that you have when you step out of the car before the game? I've got, I've got one opportunity to make an impact on today's game, and uh, you know I don't want to have any regrets coming out of it, thinking that I could have done more, I should have done more. Uh, for me, it's I'm going to leave everything out there every single time I take the ball and. Uh, you know, because that's the way that I can impact the game. And I know that my teammates are doing that on a daily basis, especially the guys behind me. So, um, you know, just making the most of every opportunity that I can get. And, uh, yeah, just giving everything you have every single time you have that opportunity. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thanks.